Right now, the Mary Vincent Memorial Library in Milledgeville trying to cool off after their AC unit broke. Tuesday, council members talked about how it was going to get fixed. Avery Braxton was in the room when they had that discussion. He joins us now in studio. Frank, the Milledgeville City Council was asked to help with some costly repairs at the library and use Tuesday's city work session to strategize how and who would help get them fixed. On Thursday, the city of Milledgeville will celebrate the opening of a brand new library branch, a location designed to help local businesses and take in some of the 110,000 visitors its counterpart collects annually. We just had an expense at the library. But on Tuesday, council members tried to figure out how to fix a broken air conditioner uh -oh. unit at the Mary Vincent Memorial Library. The cost of replacement is a little bit higher than I anticipated it to be. City manager Barry Jarrett said a cost estimate for a new unit came to $94,000. The library was asking the city to pay for half. We do not have money budgeted for this item. With warmer weather on the way, Jarrett said the librarian reported the building may have to close until the AC is fixed. It's certainly uncomfortable inside buildings without uh, any air conditioning. Council members and Mayor Pro Tem Steve Chambers asked Jarrett to explore a few options. To find out if uh, uh, more than one price was obtained, if there were several bids, and also, also if there is a uh, situation where the county may participate in uh, helping out. Chambers says since the county and city have a service contract until the summer, it only makes sense to ask if they'd help cover the unexpected expense. Uh, it's something that, um, you know, if you're owner of a household and it comes up, then, you know, you, you certainly don't want it to happen. It's just like all of a sudden finding out you need a new roof or whatever. Chambers said the city council will look at their remaining budget and see where they can pull money to possibly help cover the unit expense. Frank, back to you. All right, thanks, Avery. Now, the new library branch on East, East Hancock Street and the grand opening there will be Thursday at 5 p.m., so opening that new branch will certainly help out. The Hancock branch will offer computer and foreign language classes, yoga, along with after-school activities. It's also aiming to help local businesses boom in Milledgeville. Ninety percent of the cost for the new library came from a grant from the Georgia Public Library Service.